You want to start? <laughs> no. You know, it's just it's a, it's depressing that you know. I know you, you were the only one that was really talking it down, kind of saying, "Hey, let's put pump the brakes a little bit on this." And you know, I got a lot of a lot of flack for that on YouTube and whatnot. People are you know disagreeing mm-hmm. and whatnot. But when you when you go back and listen to it, I mean. You're pretty spot on there. Um, What I expect from the Packers in the passing game is a lot of play action, a lot of slants, and giving the ball to receivers and playmakers in space and letting them do what they do. You know, we can make fun of Jordan Love all we want about training camp videos and all that stuff. I think he's quite comfortable in the system. And I think he's had an opportunity to be in Matt LaFleur's offense, and I think he can perform it. This is all speculation because we haven't seen it, but I think at at worst, what we can expect is a 50% completion and 200-yard game from Jordan Love. Um, Do you think Fields throws for over 200 yards? I'm not sure, but at the end of the day, I trust Justin Fields to do what he needs to do to drag the corpse of the Chicago Bears across the finish line. Down to, you know, being iffy about if Fields can pour, throw for 200 yards and being pretty confident that Jordan Love will throw for at least 200 yards. And, yeah, Fields barely just broke that at the end. Um, you even mentioned how once you start pressing the ball, you're going to throw a pick. And we saw a pick six in this game. Um, couldn't stop the Packers run. Sat there, they kept gushing us seven yards on first down over and over. Meanwhile, just like you said, we wind up in these third and long situations over and over and over again. It was the worst nightmare come true. It is so much worse than I could have imagined and thought what would happen. Um, I was being hopeful for sure and being optimistic and setting, you know, like the Bears to win and everything. But I definitely will reevaluate my hopes moving forward for the rest of the year. Uh, You know, not to call, you know, people have to call their shot and then they have to like acknowledge when they're right. And for where I was right. And then there's plenty of places I was wrong where I was right. There's no identity to this team. There's no rhythm. There's no running the ball. Khalil Herbert was nine for 27, three yards of carry. Roshan Johnson, five for 20 and four yards. This is the number one rushing team in the NFL. And you had 57 yards from your first two running backs. And if you add Deontay Foreman, you had 73. And yeah, they just ran all over us consistently. They didn't have much more rushing yards than we did but it was in more important moments and it was to set up timing, to set up a rhythm, to set up <clears throat> the offense, to work off the run and shoot into the pass. And it was, it was painful, painful, simple mistakes that just, I don't know where you go from here. If you didn't know that this is what you needed to do week one, after all the time you had the game plan, I don't know what, what more time do you need? getting into third and long situations was just exactly what was my greatest fear. And it ended up happening exactly the way I pictured it. You're reverting back to the first three games of last year. So right now, my biggest hope is that you get a moment where Luke Getze and Matt Eberflus have a moment where they understand they're being fancy, they're being cute, and they just need to reevaluate what their team does. And the most frustrating thing I saw was that you saw Justin Fields game plan his ideal game plan being executed on the other side. So you saw Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon and Jordan Love doing exactly what I was hoping the Bears would do with Justin Fields. And when I said Jordan Love was going to be like a 50, 50, two to one guy, I mean, 15 for 27, 50% completion, almost 58, 56, 245, three touchdowns, no picks. I mean, two to one would have been nice, but obviously the Bears defense is just Swiss cheese. 